have to go through all this again. It's a process. All the teachers are here. You don't see every Most of them are
Good evening, everyone. Would you all please stand for our national anthem? Thank you, Mr. Hodgson, and the John Rennie Grade 10 music class. Before we begin, we would like to acknowledge that the Lester B. Pearson School Board is located on the unceded territory of the Ghanaian Gayaga people. The Lester B. Pearson School Board honors, recognizes, and respects the Ghanaian Gayaga people as the traditional stewards of the lands and waters on which we meet today, and recognizes that this land has long served as a site of meeting and exchange amongst nations. My name is Jonathan Kiffin, and I will be your master of ceremonies for this special evening. Cette année encore, nous pouvons dire qu'il s'agit d'un groupe de finissants très spécial. Ils ont admirablement représenté John Rennie par leur participation énergique, leur enthousiasme et un profond sentiment de fierté pour leur école. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the members of the platform party as well as our special guests. We have Miss Allison Saunders, Commissioner Electoral Division 4 of the School Board. <laughs> Assistant Director General from the School Board, Ms. Carol Heffernan. Region 1 Director of the School Board, Ms. Kathleen O'Reilly. The Principal of John Rennie High School, Ms. Jennifer Curta. Vice Principal, Mr. Mathieu Larocque. Vice Principal, Ms. Jacqueline Armstrong. Vice Principal, Madame Eve Marie Durand. The Chairperson of the Governing Board, Mr. Dove Benzeman. Home and School President, Ms. Tina Margaritas. And our special guests are seated in the front row. Uh, we have from the Royal Canadian Legion, the Point Claire branch, Ms. Margaret Thomas. The recipient of the Governor General's Award 2022, Ms. Megan Dagsan. The Pearson Education Foundation representative, Mr. Kyle Verbuman. From the St. Lazar Bursary, Mr. Donald Andrews. Presenting the Russ Kelly Award, Mr. Russ Kelly. Presenting the Janet Austin Memorial Award, Mr. John Austin. Presenting the Lucas Godet Award, uh, Mr. Godet and Mrs. Godet. Presenting the Gordon S. Blackman Awards, Ms. Lori Blackman. And presenting the Mark Hanna Award and the Tom Nemeth Award, Mr. Tom Nemeth. I would now ask our Assistant, Assistant Director General for the Lester B. Pearson School Board to extend greetings on behalf of the School Board. Please welcome Ms. Carol Heffernan. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Lester B. Pearson School Board, I extend warm congratulations to you, the John Rennie graduates, the class of 2023. We are grateful to your dedicated teachers, staff, and administrators, all of whom have devoted themselves to helping you reach this milestone in your lives. And I offer best wishes to your proud parents and families. Graduates, can you please stand up? Yes, I mean you.
graduates, I'd like you to look around and for you to give a hand of applause to your families and the John Rennie team for supporting you. Okay, you can sit down again. Graduates, your high school's experience has been unique. You have navigated masks, hand washing, hand sanitizer, online schooling, and classroom bubbles. You have learned adaptability, flexibility, and resilience. These skills will serve you well into your future. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns, and it's important to be adaptable to and open to new experiences. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try something new. Embrace change and use it as an opportunity for growth and learning, just like you did during COVID. Surround yourself with people who support and encourage you. Whether it be family, friends, or mentors, having a strong support system is vital to achieve your goals and overcoming obstacles. And while you are surrounding yourself with people who are supporting you, be the positive influence on those around you. Be compassionate and empathetic while making a difference in, li in the life of others. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Je, je souhaite à chacun et chacune de vous beaucoup de succès dans les prochaines années. Que ces années soient remplies de triomphes chaque fois que vous atteindrez un but. Et rappelez-vous que votre avenir est entre les bonnes mains, les vôtres. Congratulations, John Rennie. Thank you, Ms. Heffernan. It is now my pleasure to call upon our principal to offer welcome remarks on behalf of the school's administration. Please welcome Ms. Jennifer Curta. Thank you, Mr. Kiffin. Good evening, honored guests, parents, staff members, and graduates. A graduation ceremony is always such a special occasion, the culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals and achievement of success, so it only is fitting that tonight we gather to commemorate the road that we've traveled together these last few years. One of the members of the class of 2023, Lucas Cadet, will sadly not be with us tonight except in spirit. But I know that he's looking down on us with that big smile on his face. And I would like to ask everybody at this point to observe a moment's silence in his honor as we send positive thoughts to him and to his parents who are here with us this evening. Thank you. In my years as an educational leader, I've always considered myself really lucky to have been part of shaping young minds, building futures, and sharing in the good things, but also helping with the bad things, and just generally being part of this really important process. You see, as principal of the school, you're often the one that's most chained to your desk, tied to your paperwork. You aren't the one that educates and challenges them each day. They have their teachers for that. The vice principals are charged with the task of keeping them in line and helping them along the way. The support staff are there when they're not feeling well, they need ice or band-aids. The principal doesn't clean up after them or she doesn't fix the things that they break. The caretaking staff are kind enough to do that. And their friends are there to support them or hang out playing sports with them. They owe it to their parents to help them study for their tests, shuttle them back and forth to sports act activities and much, much more. But despite all that I couldn't do as their principal, I feel like I have the single best task of anyone here tonight. I'm the one who gets to meet them on this stage, just to my right, and shake their hand, marking the actual moment that they begin the next chapter of their life. They walk up the stage, high school students, and then walk back down the stage on their way to becoming doctors, designers, service agents, lawyers, doc landscapers, sorry, parents, Olympians, voters, chefs, actors, or anything else that they want to be. And I got to be there at the exact moment it happened. So graduates, as you leave me and walk across that stage tonight in front of all the people who cheered you on along the way, take a moment to really think about how you'll live every moment to its fullest. Be the best that you can be, make a difference in the world, and never diminish your own self-worth. I know you will make us proud. We wish you everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead, and it's really been our honor and a privilege watching you succeed. So congratulations to John Rennie's class of 2023.
Thank you, Ms. Curta, for your insightful remarks. We now come to the main part of our evening, which is the conferring of certificates and recognitions of merit and achievement. Awards include gold standing for students who have maintained an average of 90% or more throughout the year, silver standing for students who have maintained an average of 85 to 89%, and bronze standing for students who have maintained an average of 80 to 84%. I would now ask Mr. Larocque to call up our 2023 graduates. Please welcome Mr. Larocque. Good evening, everyone. We will now proceed with the conferring of certificates. Samantha Adler, Silver Standing French Award. Osvaldo Agostini. Ayan Ahmed. Damiano Albino Rodriguez. Bronze Standing Physical Education Award. Devon Aline. Austin Amado Reed in absentia. Joey Arojo, bronze standing. Bodhi Arhakis, silver standing mathematics award. Chloe O'Quang, silver standing. Ishan Ausbach. Sarah Bell Barkley, Silver Standing. Caitlin Batty, Bronze Standing. Carter Bayas. Christian Matteo Beato, Silver Standing. Dylan Beaudry, Bronze Standing. Cedric Beribé, In Absentia. Caitlin Besner, Silver Standing. Harrison Bickerdyke, Bronze Standing. Justin Beezing. Lorianne Bond, Silver Standing. Christopher Buhler, Gold Standing.
Jessica Barada, bronze standing. Jordan Burrata, bro, uh, silver standing. Gabriel Boye. Alexander Boyes, silver standing. Brianna Bradshaw. Chiara Bramante, silver standing. Ronald A. Bravo, Jr. Matthew Bross, Gold Standing, French Award, English Award. Sarah Brown, Silver Standing. Tyler Bunce, Bronze Standing. Kalina Burke, Bronze Standing. Carlotta Cabedo Guevara, Bronze Standing. Casey Caplin. Michael Carmasino. Jackson Carpenter, Silver Standing. Melina Caroga, Silver Standing. Justin Castelli. Massimo Catania. Samara Siolin. Amanda Chartrand, bronze standing. Andy Chen. Emily Chen. Isabel Chiasson. Nicola Kirikosta. Olivia Christopher, Silver Standing. Megan Clark, Gold Standing. Megan Zohar Cohen, Bronze Standing. Adrian Collins, Gold Standing, English Award. Lucas Collins, Gold Standing.
Wyatt Collins, bronze standing. Ava Conway, Silver Standing Art Award. Claire Cousino, Gold Standing. Nathan Daddario, In Absentia. Zachary Daoud in absentia. Jashane Davis. <laughs> Matteo De Luca, silver standing. Jake Deschamps, silver standing. Zachary Dibley Ledoux, bronze standing. Jordan Dean, bronze standing. Elias Dordas. William Dracopoulos, Gold Standing Chemistry Award, Physics Award. Felix Draper. Daria Drobiazin. Paulina Dudar, Silver Standing. Jabril Eater. Jillian Fabro, Bronze Standing. Caleb Fami, gold standing. Stefano Falvo, bronze standing. Liam Frazier, bronze standing. Connor Frechette, bronze standing. Ludovic Funk. Miguel Gastan. Lucas Godet in memoriam. Lucas Gall. Yeah. 
Bretlin Gotsi, silver standing. <laughs> Liam Geldard Pilon, bronze standing. <laughs> Noah Genet, bronze standing. Oliver Gentili Peck, Gold Standing Contemporary World History Award. Owen Galanders. Ronan Gilhuli. Miguel Geraldo Kennedy. Anthony Giro, bronze standing. Haley Goldsmith, bronze standing. Lindsay Gordon, silver standing. Gabriel Grenier McDermott, gold standing mathematics award. John Gunnup, gold standing. Miriam Hamoud, bronze standing. Michael Haney Basurdo. Gregory Harasti. Lydia Hart. Kate Horner, silver standing. Jamie Hunt, bronze standing. Noah Irfino, Bronze Standing Lara Oliveira Award. Andrew Jamgotchian, Silver Standing. Mohit Jariwala, Silver Standing. Dylan Jolie, bronze standing. Sam Kastner. Aiden Kenny, gold standing financial education award. Ryan Kerr, bronze standing. Abdul Samir Khan. Dean Khan. Eric Klempon, gold standing in absentia. Austin Cocolaire, silver standing Promo Link Bright Ideas Award. (laughs) 
Reed Kosher, Silver Standing. Isabel Kuyumjian, Silver Standing. Melody Kralka, Gold Standing. Jasmine Cranberger, Silver Standing. Clementine Quibita, Silver Standing. Suvi Kuan, Silver Standing. Amelia Lalis, Silver Standing. Brooklyn Lalonde. McKenna Langshear, Silver Standing. Matthew Laplante, Gold Standing. Abigail Law, Gold Standing, French Award. Louis Leblanc, Bronze Standing. Aiden Lefebvre. Dawson Legare. Gabriel Legio, Bronze Standing. Maya Lelouch, Silver Standing. Kyle Levesque. Zachary Levy. Isaac Lindsay in absentia. Regina Lizaraga Santa Maria. Ramiz Zafar Lodi, gold standing. Molly Lunt, Bronze Standing. Jackie McIntyre, Silver Standing. Archie McDonald. Elizabeth Mallet, Gold Standing. Julian Maroney, Silver Standing. Carly Martell, Bronze Standing. Hunter Mason, in absentia. Ashlyn Massey, Bronze Standing.
Sienna Mazone, bronze standing. Rebecca McGrath, gold standing. Sarah McAleer, bronze standing. Megan McCracken, gold standing. Ryland McDougal Vick, bronze standing. Zachary McEnroe. Tegan McKinnon. Caitlin McCoy, bronze standing. Simon McSweeney, bronze standing. Maurizio Mercury, bronze standing. Hannah Mills Lazaro, bronze standing. Gurpreet Singh Minhas. Alex Modesto. Sandra Moisescu, silver standing. Michael Antonio Monaco. Aiden Moore. Shaden Morrison. Aliyah Nagel, silver standing. Emma Nardoza, bronze standing. Angelina Narat, gold standing. Dwi Lam Nguyen. Hunter Nicholson Jodwain, bronze standing. Bella Nolan Flint. Alexandra O'Brien, silver standing. Ethan Onorati, silver standing. Jake Osborne. Selena Palacios Bell. Gabriela Papayoanu, silver standing. Carmela Paparella, bronze standing.
Thomas Papp, bronze standing. Zachary Pagize, bronze standing in absentia. Hannah Petruzzo, gold standing. Noah Phillips, bronze standing. Maya Pyrus, silver standing. Emma Ponton, bronze standing. Cameron Pouliot, bronze standing. Elia Pulu, gold standing. Enric Pulu, gold standing, French award. Ashley Pratt, bronze standing. Ashley Ramundo, silver standing. Maya Raposo. Christopher Rash Cohen, silver standing. Emma Rashad Garcia, gold standing, English award. Sky Rice. Mackenzie Rourke Frew, Silver Award. Hannah Rudge, Gold Standing. Lea Scandella, silver standing. Caden Schaefer Cly. Jacob Schmoltz. Maya Seguin, gold standing. George Salino Takis, silver standing. Daniel Semeniuk, bronze standing. Tyler Sagir, bronze standing. Maya Shaw Busby, gold standing. Maya Simeonidis Lebrun, bronze standing. Andreas Stathopoulos, silver standing. Lexi Stern, bronze standing.
Mitchell Stern, silver standing. Jack Saint-Onge. Lucas Stratza, silver standing. Jeremy Storino, silver standing. Matthew Stymus. Thomas Sverono, gold standing. Rabia Saida, bronze standing. Nicholas Tashian, bronze standing. Serena Teche, silver standing. Angus Tennant, silver standing. Asia Thorne, bronze standing. Lyndon Thuang. Adamo Totera, bronze standing. Ella Francesca Totsi, silver standing. Manuele Trinchini. Vincent Turquetta. Dimo Vagenas. Selena Velez. Taya Vizina, silver standing. Logan Victoria, bronze standing. Pamela Vildosala Ring, gold standing. Adriano Vendini, bronze standing. Mason Walker. Haley Weinstein, silver standing. Audrey Weinberg, silver standing. Sabrina Vivcharik, silver standing. Rylan Wallowitz. Aaron Wu, gold standing. James Wood, silver standing. Ethan Wugalter, silver standing.
Anthony Zanakis. Layla Yamashiro, silver standing. Congratulations to all our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the conferring of certificates to the graduates of the class of 2023. We will now proceed to the presentation of special awards. These awards have been created over the years to recognize the outstanding accomplishments of individuals. The funds to support these awards have been generously provided by companies, community groups, individuals, alumni, and our home and school association to recognize outstanding achievements. The first award is the Home and School Student Success Award. John Rennie Home and School Association is made up of volunteers with boundless energy and determination who support and assist the school in so many worthwhile endeavors. Courtesy of their fundraising efforts, we are pleased to offer four success awards to students who have demonstrated desirable academic results and positive social behavior. We would like to ask Ms. Margaritas of the Home and School Association to please come up to the podium to present these awards. The 2023 recipients are Elias Dordes. Come on, come on, Elias. William Dracopoulos. Lydia Hart. And Lucas Stratza. Congratulations to all of you, and thank you, Ms. Margaritas. The next award is the Home and School Achievement Award. The Home and School Association is proud to bestow an achievement award to a graduate who has worked consistently and diligently through the years, regardless of hardships and obstacles. Would Mr. Dove Bensimon, Chair of Governing Board, please present this special award. The 2023 recipient is Ronald Bravo, Jr. Congratulations, Ronald, and thank you, Mr. Benson. The Gandhi Award. Mahatma Gandhi said, we must be the change we want to see in the world. In honor of his legacy, the Gandhi Award was created to recognize a student who has demonstrated a commitment to personal growth that has enhanced his or her life and has inspired the community in which he or she lives. I would now ask Madame Eve Marie Durand, our vice principal, to present this next award. This award is in recognition of a student's authentic effort to embody the principles of peace and justice. This year's recipient is McKenna Lankshire. Congratulations, McKenna, and thank you, Madame Zuran. 
the Royal Canadian Legion. I now call upon Miss Margaret Thomas of the Point Claire branch of the Royal Canadian Legion to please come forward to present the Royal Canadian Legion scholarships. We have, we have four recipients this year and I will ask them to please come forward. Jacqueline McIntyre. Hunter Nicholson Jodoin. Alexandra O'Brien. Jacqueline Rudge. Congratulations to all of you, and thank you, Ms. Thomas and the Royal Canadian Legion for its ongoing generosity. The St. Lazar Bursary, I would call upon Mr. Donald Andrews from the St. Lazar City Councilor um, to present these bursaries. The St. Lazar Bursary is given to residents of St. Lazar who have demonstrated excellence in academics and athletics. There are four recipients. They are Chloe Okwang. Lindsay Gordon. Ashlyn Massey. And Pamela Vildosola Ring. Congratulations to all of you, and thank you, Mr. Andrews, and to the City of St. Lazar for their generosity. The Lucas Godet Memorial Award. This is Lucas's graduating class. We miss him, and we think of him often. An anonymous donor has set up an award in Lucas's name to recognize a student who treats everyone with kindness and love, promotes peace through their actions, and sets a positive example to all. Would Mr. and Mrs. Godet please come up to present this award? <laughs> this year's recipient is Chloe O'Quain. Congratulations, Chloe, and thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Godet. This next award is the Louise Chalmers Theatre Arts Award. I would ask Ms. Gadbwa to come on stage to present this award. It is given in honor of Louise Chalmers, drama teacher of 35 years at John Rennie, to a student who has achieved excellence in the theatre arts program. The 2023 recipient is Gabriel Grenier McDermott.
Congratulations, Gabriel, and thank you, Ms. Gadbois. The next award is the Theater Crew Award. The Theater Crew Award acknowledges the time and talent of our student crew in setting up and running each event that takes place in our very special theater. Tonight, we honor a student who has made outstanding contributions to our theater department. Accepting this award in absentia, the 2023 recipient is Eric Klempen. A permanent plaque will be proudly displayed in our theater lobby with Eric's name inscribed. The next award is the Margaret Manson Award. Margaret Manson was a teacher, principal, consultant, and commissioner in our region. She was dedicated to the principle that every person can learn, every person has the right to learn. She championed teamwork, matching learning styles and teaching styles, and lifelong learning for all. I would invite Mr. Kyle Verbuman from the Pearson Education Foundation to present this award. The Margaret Manson Learning Award recognizes a graduating student who has succeeded in the face of obstacles along the way. The 2023 recipient is Chunming Andy Chen. Congratulations, Andy, and thank you, Mr. Verbuman. The West Island Lakers Basketball Association Award. The West Island Lakers Basketball Association is a nonprofit volunteer organization whose mandate is to provide basketball instruction and experience for any interested youth in the West Island. Over the years that it has been in existence, Wilba has depended on the gym facilities provided by the school board. In recognition of this relationship, Wilba would like to honor two students who have played basketball on the school team. These students have displayed the qualities of athleticism, sportsmanship, and academics, and is a credit to the school on and off the court. I would ask Mr. Mathieu Larocque, our vice principal, to present two bursaries. The 2023 recipients are Asia Thorne. And Justin Castelli. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you, Mr. Larocque. The Russ Kelly Award for Academic Excellence in Sportsmanship. Russ Kelly was one of the founders and coordinator of our Spare Sud program. His commitment to this scholar athletic program has given opportunities to many students, several of whom have received Olympic and worldwide recognition. An award has been established in his name, and there he is. The Russ Kelly Award for Academic Excellence in Sportsmanship reflects two special traits that are very dear to Mr. Kelly. The recipient of the award exhibits high academic achievement, sport excellence, as well as behavior and attitude that represent the philosophy of the Sparet Sud program. The 2023 recipient is Rebecca McGrath. Thank you, Mr. Kelly, and congratulations, Rebecca. The John Rennie Sparitzud Awards. Would Mr. Chris Bedick, coordinator of the Sparitzud program, please come on stage to present these awards? The Sparitzud Awards are given to students who have best exemplified the philosophy of the John Rennie Sparitzud program integrity, responsibility, participation, and academic success. There are two of them. The 2023 recipients are Christopher Buhler. 
and Ashlyn Massey. Congratulations to both of you, and thank you, Mr. Bedick. The George Cassidy Music Scholarship Award. May I ask Ms. Milena Necheva, daughter of Mr. George Cassidy, to come on stage to present this award. It is given to students who have demonstrated excellence and mastery of their instrument, and who will always have music as an important part of their life. The 2023 recipient is Jack Saint-Ange. Congratulations, Jack. Ms. Necheva, will you please remain on stage? The next award is the Harry Fisher Award. It was created in memory of a beloved John Rennie staff member who promoted student life and instituted the tradition of the Terry Fox Run. Ms. Necheva, as one of our leadership teachers, will present this award to our two 2023 recipients. They are Megan McCracken. And Elia Pulu. Congratulations to both of you. <laughs> Ms. Nicheva, will you please remain on stage once again for the Tristan Morissette Perkins Award. Tristan Morissette Perkins graduated from John Rennie High School in 2017. The community was deeply impacted by his loss. Tristan was a great John Rennie citizen and devoted much of his time to contributing to school life at John Rennie. This scholarship was created in loving memory of Tristan and is awarded to the student who best exemplifies the spirit of volunteerism and leadership in multiple aspects of school life. The 2023 recipient is Osvaldo Agostini. Congratulations, Osvaldo, and thank you, Mr. Cheva. The Beth Randolph Bursary and Trophy. I would ask Ms. Wendy Robinson, our guidance secretary, to come up and present this year's award. <laughs> Beth Randolph was our beloved longtime school psychologist. She lived her life fully with empathy, love, and humor. In her name, the Beth Randolph Bursary and Trophy is awarded to a student who has overcome personal and social adversity with perseverance, determination, and kindness. The 2023 recipient is Justin Castelli. Thank you, Ms. Robinson. Congratulations, Justin. The John Rennie Student Life Awards. I would ask Ms. Raquel Lobotone to come on stage to present this award. The John Rennie Student Life Award is given to students whose contribution to student life has been exemplary. The two 2023 recipients are Claire Cousineau and Regina Lizaraga Santa Maria.
Congratulations to both of you. Regina and Ms. Raquel Lobatel, could you please remain on stage for a moment? Uh, we just wanted to mention that Regina is receiving another award on Sunday at a special gala. It is the Lieutenant Governor's Medal. It recognizes individuals who have had a positive influence in their community and have displayed involvement, determination, and tenacity. Congratulations, Regina. Thank you both. The Tom Nemeth Award. Mr. Nemeth, would you please come forward to present this award? Tom Nemeth, a former student athlete at John Rennie High School, is passionate about supporting a new generation of student athletes so that they can enjoy the benefits of sport and competition. This award is presented to a John Rennie student athlete who has demonstrated athletic success while participating in school sports. This year's recipient is Aiden Kenny. Congratulations, Aiden. Mr. Nemeth, would you please remain on stage? For the Mark Hanna Award. This award is named after the late Mark Hanna, who exemplified school spirit as the president of the JRHS School Council in 1987. Mark excelled as a student in the classroom and as an athlete. This award is presented to a John Rennie student who has demonstrated academic success, student body involvement, and participation in athletics. The 2023 recipient is Maya Shaw Busby. Congratulations, Maya, and thank you, Mr. Nevin. The Pride of John Rennie Awards. Pride is a personal commitment. It is an attitude which separates excellence from mediocrity. The John Rennie High School community takes pride in its school, its traditions, and its students' accomplishments. It is this attitude of pride that has elevated our school to a very high echelon. As the recipients of this award, JRHS has chosen four graduating students who have demonstrated pride in themselves and in their personal achievements. These are the students who helped to create the positive energy that remains as a legacy. At this time, I would invite our commissioner, Ms. Allison Saunders, to present these awards. The four 2023 recipients are Jake Deschamps. Carly Martel. Enric Poulou and Pamela Vildosa Lering. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Ms. Saunders. The Pearson Teachers Union Award. I would like to call upon Ms. Kathleen Gardner, our Pearson Teachers Union rep, to come on stage to present this award. This is the 18th year that the Pearson Teachers Union has offered scholarships to an accomplished graduating student. The 2023 recipient is Emilia Lalas. Congratulations, Amelia, and thank you, Ms. Gardner. The Paso Wings to Fly Award. 
the Pearson Association of School Administrators also sponsors an annual scholarship. It is named Wings to Fly and is awarded for citizenship and voluntary contribution to the school. I would like to call upon Ms. Jacqueline Armstrong, our Vice Principal, to present this scholarship. The 2023 recipient is Chiara Bramante. Congratulations, Karen. Thank you, Mr. Armstrong. The Point Claire Old Timers Awards. Would Mr. Larocque please present these next awards? The Point Claire Old Timers Hockey Association has generously offered to fund scholarships to each of the high schools in Point Claire. Awards are given for leadership, citizenship, participation, and academic standing. The two 2023 recipients are Melody Kraka and Emma Rashad Garcia. Thank you, Mr. Larocque. I'd ask both of you to remain on stage for this next award. The National Yearbook Program of Excellence. As yearbook advisor, I will have the pleasure of presenting this award. Once again, the Yearbook Committee has received the National Yearbook Program of Excellence Award for their quality of work. This award is given by Jostens, our publisher, to each member of the team. I would ask the yearbook team to come up to receive their certificates. They are Emma, Melody, Oliver, Gentilly Peck, Megan McCracken, and Maya Shaw Busby. Thank you and well done uh, to all of you. This next award is the Yearbook Award. It's actually given to the student who best exhibits initiative, dedication, and hard work throughout the year. The 2023 recipient is, before you get off stage, Emma, it is Emma Rashad Garcia. <laughs> Thank you, and well done, Emma. Sorry to make you come on the stage. <laughs> Not sorry. The Janet Austin Memorial Award. Janet Austin graduated from GRHS in 1965 and went on to be a wonderful nurse. In her memory, her family has generously created an award. I would invite Mr. John Austin, Janet's brother, to present this award. It it recognizes and rewards a graduating student who demonstrates compassion and caring, has a can-do attitude, is courageous to embrace the possibilities of their potential, and is intending on pursuing a career in a medical field. This year's recipient is Pamela Vildosola Ring.
Congratulations, Pamela, and thank you, Mr. Austin. The Gordon S. Blackman Awards. Mr. Blackman was a longtime English teacher at John Rennie High School. In his memory, two awards have been established. I would invite Mr. Blackman's daughter, Miss Lori Blackman, to present both awards named in his honor. The first Gordon S. Blackman Award is for diversity and inclusion. This award recognizes a student who inspires a more diverse and inclusive community through service. This year's recipient is Olivia Christopher. Congratulations, Olivia. This, the second Gordon S. Blackman Award is for Perseverance. This award is presented to a student who has demonstrated tremendous potential for advanced studies despite facing obstacles. This year's award is presented to Oliver Gentilly Peck. Congratulations, Oliver, and thank you, Ms. Blackman. The Sarah P. Eady Award. The Sarah P. Eady Award was instituted in 1958 and is the longest standing awards tradition in John Rennie High School. It was created to recognize a former staff member and to honor students in four key areas. The names of these students will be inscribed on the Sarah P. Eady plaque that hangs in perpetuity in the Great Hall. I would ask Ms. Kathleen O'Reilly to present these awards. The first area recognized is leadership, and the recipient is Elia Pulu. The second area recognized is that of athletics. We have two recipients. They are Sarah Brown and Maurizio Mercury. The third area recognized is citizenship, and the recipient is Regina Lisa Raga Santa Maria. And finally, the fourth area recognized is that of scholarship, and the recipient is Abigail Law. Thank you, Ms. O'Reilly. Congratulations to all of you. We now come to the very significant moment in our program where we acknowledge the most superior academic achievement in our students.
Let's begin with the most prestigious award from last year's graduating class, the 2022 Governor General's Academic Medal. The Governor General's Medal, established in 1873, recognizes students who have achieved the highest academic average among their entire graduating class, after all final grades have been made official. On behalf of the Governor General of Canada, I would ask Ms. Carol Heffernan, Assistant Director General of the School Board, to award the Academic Medal to the highest achiever of last year's graduating class. She is Megan Dagsan. Congratulations, Megan. Come back next year to find out who among you will win the 2023 medal. Ms. Heffernan, uh, would you please remain on stage to present the next award? The Lester B. Pearson School Board Medals. This year, the school board presents a bronze medal and a silver medal in recognition of overall academic standings. The winner of the bronze medal is Abigail Law. The winner of the silver medal is Matthew Bross. Congratulations to these two wonderful scholars for an incredible accomplishment. Thank you, Ms. Heffernan. The Principal's Award, would Ms. Curtup kindly present this award. The Principal's Award was first created in 1983 at the 25th reunion of the class of 1958. The graduates started a scholarship in perpetuity to honor their principal, the first principal of John Rennie High School, Mr. C. Wynn Dixon. The Principal's Award recipient is Gabriel Grenier McDermott. Congratulations, Gabriel. And Ms. Curta, would you please stay and help us with our final award. Student of the Year. The conferring of awards traditionally closes with the recognition of the Student of the Year, our highest honor going to our most esteemed scholar who represents the pursuit of excellence, intellectual inquiry, and consistent achievement. Our Student of the Year is Gabriel Grenier McDermott. Get back on stage, Gabriel. Where are you? There you are. Thank you, Ms. Gerda. And once again, congratulations, Gabriel. This concludes the presentation of awards and bursaries. Let's have a final round of applause for all the outstanding recipients. It is now time to hear from our valedictorian, who will say farewell on behalf of her peers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Maya Shaw Busby. Distinguished guests, school board representatives, administrators, 
faculty, parents, families, and most importantly, to John Rennie High School's graduating class of 2023. My name is Maya Shaw Busby, and I am deeply honored for having been given the opportunity to speak before you all on this momentous day. <laughs> the day on which we teeter on the threshold between what we have known and what is to come. On which we close a major chapter of our story. The day on which we commemorate the last five years of our lives from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. The day on which we look at the past as something that has built us up for the future. The day on which we end our time at John Rennie High School. As we are here in these caps and gowns, I cannot help but think back to August 31st, 2018, the day that we walked through the doors of our school for the very first time as children, greeted by a large banner that read, Welcome, Class of 2023. 2023? At the time, it seemed impossible that a year like that could even exist. So far off in the future, it would maybe never come. And yet, here we are. We're leaving our school, almost adults. Now, I could stand here and tell you all about how flawless high school has been, but that would be a lie. I doubt I'm alone when I say that this has been quite a feat. High school has been an exceptional experience, each of us having lived our time here in a unique way, with our personal challenges and successes. Collectively, we've proved ourselves strong, fighters even. Our graduating class was faced with a pandemic from the eighth grade to the 10th. Three years of chaos during which we learned from home, in school, with masks, with no masks, half time, full time, never knowing what would happen next. But we made it out onto the other side and we came back stronger. In fact, there were even some glimpses of sunshine through that crazy storm. Friendships were formed in the class bubbles. Students had time to reflect, discovering more about who they are. And stronger bonds were formed between our teachers and students as we all helped each other turn our dark skies into vibrant rainbows. Those times built resilience in us, which is a vital characteristic to have. This resilience carried us through the rest of high school and it'll continue to carry us through the rest of our lives. That loss of our high school years made so many students eager to participate heavily in extracurriculars as they became available again. This past year has been buzzing with student life. Our student leaders created an amazing sense of community between the lower and higher grades by hosting our annual leadership camp, as well as workshops, pep rallies, fundraisers, spirit weeks, theme days, and so much more. Our sports teams have held great standings, just as they did throughout all of our time here, bringing home championship banners left, right, and center. We've also traveled this year with trips to Niagara Falls and Mont Saint Anne, among others, learning to try new things and explore new places. Additionally, our Actor Studio program put on two fantastic plays, selling hundreds of tickets and performing for peers, teachers, and elementary schools around the region. But above all, bonds were made and a strong sense of unity has been formed among students. There were always memorable activities to look forward to from our first day of high school to our last that would bring students closer together regardless of their grade or program. Although we may not realize it, this sense of community has played a significant role in our high school experience and it'll be something that we will cherish for years to come. On behalf of the graduates, I express gratitude for the staff of John Rennie, who have taught us many lessons, other than what's in the textbook and on the exam. You have taught us discipline, organization, creativity, autonomy, ambition, and so much more. 
You have helped us build the path on which we will walk for the rest of our lives, guiding us and helping us figure out who we are and where we want to go in the coming years. And for that, teachers, guidance counselors, and administrators, we are eternally grateful. This gratitude also goes out to all of the parents and families here. Thank you for helping us through some of the craziest, maybe even toughest years of our lives. Look, I know that I can't speak for everyone, but surely I'm not alone when I say that I couldn't have made it through high school without my parents by my side. Thank you for helping us find our way in the world, for celebrating us in our successes and supporting us in our losses. Thank you for teaching us how to navigate the obstacles placed before us, be it problems with friends, difficulty keeping up with schoolwork, the not so simple struggles of you know, being a teenager, or whatever you and your child have faced in these last five years. You have also proved yourselves to be resilient. And though it may not seem like it, we do recognize that this hasn't been an easy journey for you as parents. And I think we owe you all a huge thank you for your patience, your love, and for never giving up on us. Let's get a huge round of applause for all these amazing people. And now, I would like to recognize our darkest moment in our time here at JRHS. We suffered the loss of a student, a peer, and a friend, Lucas, in 2022. His absence was, still is, and will always be felt by all. As we move on from the phase in our lives in which he was present, we must know that he will always be with us in our hearts, and that even in the darkest of times, we did not succumb to the grief and pain and anger, but instead we came together to remember a beautiful soul. So now as we step over the threshold between what we have known and what is to come, I think we should acknowledge the fact that despite all that has been placed before us, collectively or individually, despite all the hardships, the challenges, the highs and the lows and the good and the bad, each and every one of you succeeded. You are here and you made it to the day that you graduate high school. This is a major accomplishment and you should all be extremely proud of yourselves. It wasn't easy. Let's just pause and realize the, the magnitude of this moment. You know, it's kind of a big deal if you really think about it. And in the wise words of a great philosopher, a poet, an icon and a role model to all, Winnie the Pooh, you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. We have proved this time and time again in high school, and I want you to remember that, because now, guys, we're moving on. So, now we move on from school bells. It sounds so familiar. That'll soon become nothing but a distant memory. Now we move on from cafeteria cookies, snowball fights in the field, and just dance parties in class. Now we move on from staring at clocks. Did you start the book yet? When is this due? Can I go to the bathroom and not come back? Now we move on from laughs, tears, smiles, pain hugs, stress, memories, heartbreak, and friendship. Now we move on from dreaming to making our dreams a reality. And as you move on, 
live in the moment, look toward the future, but never forget your past. Because these last five years, through thick and thin, have shaped you into who you are today as a resilient, intelligent, and promising young adult. Now, who we become tomorrow? Well, that's in no one's hands but ours. Congratulations to John Rennie High School's graduating class of 2023. We made it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you should go down there. Oh, I apologize, Maya. Would Miss Curta please give Maya her uh, honorary plaque? Thank you. Thank you so much to our valedictorian, Maya. She did all that from memory. And now, just a few housekeeping items before I bring this evening's ceremony to a close. Don't worry, your cap toss is coming soon. Grads and platform party, be sure to return your gowns once you exit the gym on your way out where Mr. O'Donnell will be waiting for you. Grads, you may of course keep your caps as souvenirs. Our thanks to Mr. O'Donnell, Mr. Mansour, Mr. McCoy, Mr. Wiles, and Mr. Taylor who served as our ushers in fine fashion. As always, with an event of this complexity, many tasks have been attended to by willing hands working behind the scenes. We are indebted to the members of the Home and School Association, Grad Committee, Mr. O'Donnell, Mr. Hodgson, and the John Rennie Grade 10 Music Class. Our two Grade 10 students, Julia Randolph and Lucas Ferdinand. Our Piper, Mr. Alan Jones, and audiovisual support from Avitech. This evening would not be possible without the boundless contribution and special care of Ms. Zeno Daly and Wendy Robinson, our school admin support and convocation planners. I wish to thank the members of the platform party and our special guests for their presence and support tonight. Finally, we would like to thank the families and friends. Your presence here tonight is one of countless moments of support for your child. They may not always say it, but they are grateful. We'll be leaving this room all together in a moment in a recessional. Before the graduates exit, please wait for our piper, Mr. Jones, to take the lead, followed by our platform party and special guests, teachers, and then finally our graduates. Thank you everyone for sharing this wonderful evening with the John Rennie class of 2023. We're really proud of each and every one of our grads. Okay. This is it, grads. I'd ask all the grads to stand up, please. Now, turn around and look for the people in this room who have supported you throughout your studies. Wait for my count. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the grads of 2023. Three, two, one, throw!